At this shooting range in Maryland, everyone's shooting bullets made by an ammunition company called Tomcat, including the last shooter you saw, Cat O'Connor. She owns the company, and she's here with Brian Wise, who runs a group called U.S. Consumers Coalition. Both are upset by a secretive project from control freaks in Washington called Operation Choke Point. So, Brian, what's that? It's a program that the Department of Justice is pursuing uh, that essentially intimidates banks and payment processors to stop doing business with industries that they fundamentally don't like. And people like Cat are being affected and losing the ability to provide their services and their products to Bad consumers. industries like Cat makes ammunition. That's right. Companies that say, as seen on TV, I, I have this list that got leaked from the Department of Justice. They didn't want to reveal this. Firearms makers, payday lawyers loan sellers, pornography, surveillance equipment, tobacco sales, lots of companies. They didn't want this program to be released, as you mentioned, uh, to the public at all. Uh, but most of these industries are industries that they've tried to legislate out of existence over the past 20 or 30 years. They haven't been able to do that. And, and so the Obama administration, under the direction of Eric Holder at the Department of Justice, has decided we're going to come up with a creative way to go after these industries. We're going to find the one unifying factor uh, that brings together all of these industries. And what is that? everyone needs a bank everyone needs a payment processor and so we're going to go to the banks we're going to intimidate them into stopping uh their client relationships with all of these uh these companies so cat how did you find out you've been choked by operation choke point we were told twice um, by payment processors that we were rejected due to our industry. That was pretty much the only explanation that we were given. You, you suddenly found you couldn't use your PayPal account. We could not use PayPal Business Pro, which is the credit card processing that links to your website. They would not allow us to, uh, they would not approve our application. So you then tried to open a bank account and the bank said? I was told by the branch manager, you can have your bank account, but you can't have gateway services due to your industry. And that means credit card processing? Exactly. So you still don't have that? I don't have it right now. Thousands of companies uh, throughout the country are uh, right now receiving letters from their banks saying that they can no longer have bank accounts and that they can no longer use credit card processing services. And that's only the ones that we know about. Uh, yeah, here's we, a tweet from a, a porn star. Tegan Presley tweets, thank you, Chase, for closing my personal account that I've had since I was 18. The Department of Justice uh, started with uh, industries like payday lending and pornography companies. Uh, and they have now moved into check cashing, debt collection services, and all the way to guns and ammunition sales and tobacco sales. The letter they received from the bank doesn't ever say Operation Choke Point on it. It's just after 25 years of doing business one, with one of these banks, they receive a letter saying, we can no longer bank you, and you need to move your money someplace else. Now, the collectivists in the media who support big governments, control freaks, love things like Operation Choke Point. Here's the New York Times editorial. Choke Point hits the mark. Uh, fortunately, some people in Congress were upset enough to summon a few of the Justice Department's people to a hearing. Who has determined fraud? You're an attorney at the DOJ. Has there, been a, has there been a due process? Has there been a hearing? Has there been an adjudication of fraud? No. Your lawyers recognized that legitimate businesses were in fact being harmed, but decided that the ends justified the means. Yeah, it's great to see members of Congress doing their duty, pushing back against the control freaks. So were the abusive lawyers from the DOJ cringing with guilt? No. Here's the bureaucrats opening statement. Our policy is to investigate specific unlawful conduct based on evidence that consumers are being defrauded. And so on and on he went. Uh, we asked the Department of Justice to come on this show and explain you know, that what they're doing is okay, but they did not respond. So do they respond to your complaints? Well, ironically, the only response that we've gotten from the Department of Justice is when we start going out and talking about this publicly. Kat, some people would say it's not a threat. You, you're making ammunition. Ammunition isn't good. And you, you really should be policed. Bullets kill people. Yeah, I do have a federal firearms license, and I have two licenses from the state of Maryland to uh, deal and manufacture an explosive. So it is highly regulated already. They don't ever pair them back, right? They always want more. More, yes. 